It's now time to delve into some good old backstory. It's time to check out how John Romero ended up getting his start in the whole video game making stuff. But yeah, we're gonna play Dangerous Dave. Uh, whoops, I, I kind of skipped everything, but yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm sure we missed so much story. But, oh yeah. man, knock off Mario, starting to get diamonds. Yep. But yeah, the goal uh, has the name of the game ended up saying is to get the trophy. And there's 10 levels in total. But yeah, this version of the game was made in DOS in 1990, but the original game was for the Apple II, I believe, in 1988. So yeah, it's honestly quite the whole game, man. Yeah, it's like right now it's really easy as all hell, but it's just like as you get through it, uh, this game definitely gets a uh, shitload evil. Further proof that 88 was a terrible game. <laughs> PCR. Yeah, I don't know who that is. It's Pac Man. Uh, come just, it's just Pac Man. No, well, you gotta stop the Pac Man. <laughs> But yeah, now it's Pac-Man with a gun! No, you said come resort, don't pretend like that's not gun. what I said. Yep. Now we get to shoot. But yeah, it's just like the intro for the gun in this game is honestly kind of awkward because, hey, yeah. <laughs> the enemies barely uh, poke their heads off from off screen, so hey. It's all about the uh, choosing- DCR, Pink Cat Rose. Yeah, Pink Cat Rose. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's wrong with Pac-Man's cum resort? You know exactly what's wrong with that. So yeah, now we have a jetpack. Let's investigate over here in order to see. Are there any secrets? No, there's not. You flew here for nothing. Now you're gonna die. Woo! Yeah, just in order to show that, hey, even in his good old teenage years, John Romero still could make you his bitch. I had this on all the DOS computers and were... Oh, fuck, I'm not looking at where I'm jumping. <laughs> kind of interesting, though, that the, the stuff you collected is already staying collected. Yeah, it's the like the lo still dead. Yeah, the level does not reset whenever you die. Which is honestly kind of a good thing because hey, in some levels it could definitely mean a bad thing. So yeah, right now we cannot get this trophy because we cannot jump over this fire. It's sadly impossible. And now this is where the level design is being yeah, an awful prick. <laughs> Just like, what the fuck here? Thank you, Ice Twister! <laughs> Ooh, spring break! Right. I'm Ron Gemero. Spring break! Oh. Oh. Pixelated bitch. Also, one year, yay, woo, spring break. Dave Katana. Yeah, Dave, T Dave Katana. So yeah, ironically, I found out that. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What'd you find out? Oh, <laughs> uh, there was an MVO platformer called Rick Dangerous. Which Dangerous will win in a fight? Rick Dangerous, because he's being uh, hardened by level design that will make anyone cry like a bitch. Well. Oh. Oh yeah, we've been killed by the spiral of fuck. I see the fuck there too. Yep, alright. One more try. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's an early soft disk game, which means that, hey, most of the good old uh, in crew ended up being here. John Carmack, John Romero, Adrian Carmack, as well, then Tom Owl. Like, I'm not sure if the others were involved in the creation of this game per se, but uh, I know the other games of the series, or at least the next one, they are involved. But yeah, the problem with this game, however, is that, hey, you have no continue, so you do have to beat all 10 levels of the game in one uninterrupted go, and yeah, 
to this day, I still have not managed to do it because this game gets uh, ridiculous. So now we're doing it right now. Today is the day. Fuck no, we're not doing this. Nah, I'm fairly certain that's uh, EGA here. That definitely looks like uh, that was made like in 16 colors. Right, it's time to shoot our oversized bullet at the oversized spider. Oh yeah, this is the run, but the problem is that if I'm gonna do a winning run of this game, like, that will involve me skimming over all of the bullshit of this game that totally shows that this was made by John Romero. I mean, I could totally play uh, other Apogee, old Apogee games, I mean, uh, oh, okay, all right. Okay, this time we're gonna save on our life by not going over there to die in the distance. Cause I don't know, I feel like 1990 is definitely old for, you know, VG. But yeah, here's the way in order to do this, by the way. It's like, that's really the best way in order to do this whole uh, area, and it is to just kill yourself on the spike ball so that it dies too, so hey. I mean, EGA can have a flesh tone if, you know, it's in the color palette that you make available. Like, it's all about using the 16 colors that you have available. And yeah, now there's water. Warning, water will kill you, so don't touch it. Um, but with that sign note, I definitely want to, you know, collect crime. Uh, wait, collect crime. Collect crime. Uh, did you answer that question from Dust Minion, by the way? Uh, yeah. I'm totally gonna play like a bunch of all the Poochie uh, platformer. I debate that this counts as one, but uh, hey. It's like we're not quite to the Apogee day. It's the before Apogee day. Now, you see, uh, Dangerous Dave can take a shower because, hey, it's radical, like, uh, I don't know, like hemorrhoids. Uh... So we're waiting for Apogee Day. Where's Apology Day for Pac-Man's Cum Resort? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, at least for, you know, the kind of platformer that it is, it still controls okay. Uh, ah, okay. I was gonna say it still controls okay, and uh, here is I'm uh, currently lamenting about the controls not doing what I want them to do. Oh, uh, actually, I checked out on Twitter. John Romero ended up, like, releasing, like, a collection of every game of the series, and I'm... And I mean, like, of all platforms confounded and everything. But yeah, it's like, I don't know. What will be the best time in order, to, in order for me to show this stuff up? I don't know, so alright. Oh, hey, you got an extra life. Yep, every 20,000 points. And now it's hairy uh, coronaviruses that you have to kill. Clearly, John Romero. Oh, do we need to be reminded of this? <laughs> I mean, why not? I mean, at that Danny, point, we I... just have to shoot coronavirus with a gun. That's how we yeah. win. John Romero was trying to warn us. All right. All we need is uh, fancy footwork. For okay. All right. <laughs> you didn't even die. Don't wait. To... <laughs> no, uh, I fucked it. The... Ah, no. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, I guess that's the correct time in order to elaborate about some of my who's concerning the controls. Because you can perfectly control yourself whenever you're doing a jump like this. It's like every touch of the direction steer you in the good direction. But the moment the falling direction goes, then you only can fall like in uh, this like 45 degree angle or so, which is kind of awkward. So the moral of the story is never fall. All right, there we go. The coronavirus is dead again. And yeah, by the way, also the stars are, you know, uh, back 
Oh, okay. I guess only some of the stars are a background uh, obstacle. Play an ode to hold John. Wait, to hold John on the bench. Oh, what? <laughs> uh, uh, whoops. Yeah, there we go. We'll take that. Yeah, play an ode to hold John on the banjo. What is old John? I don't even know. John him. Romero. Old John Romero. I'm John guessing. Romero. How many Johns are we talking about right now? So yeah. What did you do? Also, by the way, yeah. Warp Zone. We found the secret, and by the way, the secret is gonna fucking kill you. Because, yeah, right now that secret area totally seems innocuous and everything. And just like, eh, it's fun, we're collecting points, and nothing is bad, and everything. Oh, hold on, don't I? In innocuous is definitely the best way to pronounce this. Okay, no, I do have a banjo on my synth. So, all right. You used it before, I swear. No, I mean on my new one. So, all right. It's me, it's old John, I make games. It's me, the guy who makes the game. Old John is my name, and it's me that is a guy. John! John! <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. We got a clip. Yep. Huh. Like, uh, people always go and say, Oh, Kaisomor, you ended up, uh, you know, uh, doing uh, bad things. It's just like, no, I'm sorry. Uh, Kaizo was beaten to the punch like so many, so many time ago. Oh, innox innoxious? It, it's pronounced innocuous. Oh, innocuous, aha. Uh -huh. But in, no, innoxious was better, given the game we're playing. So yeah, so since all of the floor over there is fake, we have to take the long way. And at that point... Oh yeah, also, guess what's your reward for clearing the warp zone? The oh good, level. you gotta do the same stage all yeah. over again. Why? Yeah, you do no progress! So it's even worse than Mario 2. Ah, fuck off the hairy ball sack gut. I mean, it didn't say warp zone to new area. Yeah, but... It didn't say where it was warping you. Yeah, but typically warp zones are supposed to be beneficial. It's like, fuck you, John. <laughs> ah. yeah, you win absolutely nothing. You lose. Uh, oh, yeah, fuck, I hit the stars now. <gasps> but yeah, thank you, Carmen94. <laughs> Like, at this point, my only hope for making it any further is to get, like, 40,000 points, which will give me another Dave, but, uh, yeah, if I am to get another Dave, I'm gonna have to beat this level. Alright, boom, ah. Yeah, there we go, you fell in my trap, coronavirus. There we go, good work, only five more to go, yeah, about that. Good joke. Oh, yeah, there we go, and now a creative enemy. The ball on a stick. It's like, I don't know what this is, but hey, it's something. Right, at that point, let's try to get our one up before we try to, oh my god. This is so terrifying! Have you tried to get the one up ah, first? Fuck! Or not. Yep. Well, you beat NFL, apparently. Yep, but NFL can go here the fuck, yet yeah, the killer Q-tips.